Good morning and to a rainy, yucky morning. We're out here on the patio this morning. On the We have a, I shouldn't say patio. It used to be a porch. We closed it in. So we're on our sun porch. We decided, Vanessa and I, were tired of the dungeon in the basement. So springtime's here, time for change. So you'll have to bear with us while we get used to this because it's a whole different setup. We're trying to figure out different ways to do this. I am excited to tell you we no longer have to rush through a video. We are not limited any longer on the length of our video times. So we can take our time. We don't have to rush. Um, we're also going to start a new series on how we do things and different foods that we feed, how we feed, snacks that we do. Uh, I have had a lot of requests for that. We're also, and if you want to send me some feedback on it, we're thinking about doing live at least once a week, uh, possibly for each litter. I don't know. It's a new thing for me. We've never done it, but um, we're thinking about it. So let me know some thoughts if you have any on how you feel about if we would do some live um, YouTube videos and uh, we'll let everybody know ahead of time of when we're going to do it. And we're also thinking about turning on uh, a camera. And doing a camera at least once a week so uh, each person can watch their designated litter for um, an afternoon while they play and that type thing and we're trying to work out the logistics on that right now so anyway some new things coming for this year uh, I'm tired of the same old same old so we're gonna ramp it up a little bit so this morning we are in here with a litter you have not seen so today is May the 3rd and this is Dory and Hondo's litter. Hondo is a new male that I bought from a wonderful lady named Janet in Texas. Uh, Hondo was shown for the first three years of his life and placed sixth in the nation in UKC trials. Um, Hondo is a little six and a half to seven pound toy poodle. He's a black and white with ticking on his coat. Ticking means little tiny spots and I'll show you these guys if they start to build but there is one here with ticking on it um, they're doing great and she's a good mom as always uh, we were not able to use oh you gotta roll over we were not able to use uh, Smokey this time because my nephew actually had him using him and so Hondo was my next choice so this is Hondo's first litter um, we're tickled to death with it uh, they're really nice babies and um, I think you'll really enjoy this litter. I hope they turn out as good. Hondo is wonderful. Hondo loves everybody because he was shown so much in the ring. He thinks everybody is his best friend. So out of this litter, we ended up with um, black and whites and chocolate and whites. We have males and females in here. And no, I didn't lay them on here in order this time. So we'll have to figure that out when we get there. Uh, there's four males and two females in this litter. So everybody's stretching and sleeping. So we're going to give you weights uh, on these guys as we go. And so for the first off for these guys being just, uh, they'll be a week old tomorrow. They're all going to, you know what? We could do pigs in a blanket. They're all kind of going, we could do this, Mom. We're, we're already laying this way. I don't know if we'll get it done or not. But so while I jabber it, I'll do it. Um, eyes and ears are closed. They will not open till approximately two weeks old. So you got about uh, 12 to 14 days. And I've had them go 16 days, but it's not normal. Usually where their eyes are open about 14 days old. Oh, there we go. Hot dog. We don't get pigs in a blanket very often, but they were actually like lining themselves up for a pigs in the blanket shop. Uh, so the uh, eyes and ears will open. Ears are totally sealed shut. I'll show you that in a little bit for those of you who have never been on our channel before. If you are new to our YouTube channel and to Windy Hill Kennel, we're glad you're here. Um, a couple things. Uh, if you will subscribe to our YouTube channel, you will actually be notified by YouTube every time I put a, photo, a video on. But I honestly, usually, once I load it to YouTube, it goes directly to the website. But it lets you know there's one on. I do not contact you when I put videos on. I honestly just don't have the time to text everybody that, hey, my videos are on. Uh, so my video schedule is usually Monday through Friday. Uh, we try and get them on. If I don't get them on, there's a world of catastrophe going on here. <laughs> so 
uh, which could be my husband being injured, which has happened several times. We do have a small hobby farm with Hereford cattle and uh, we've been known to have issues happen. And if there's no video goes on, um, there's something wrong on my end. So these guys will get a weekly video. Uh, we do pictures when their eyes open. We do pictures again at five weeks old and that's the last pictures I put on. Uh, this summer is gonna be crazy with the amount of puppies we have. And to give the puppies the time they need and the nurturing they need, I don't have time to do that many photos. So that'll go on that way. Dew claws and tails were done at four days old. Nobody had any back dew claws. Whew, I think we could open the window. Um, nobody had, um, like I said, they had back dew claws. They did have front dew claws. Um, we took those off. The reason we do that, I know a lot of people ask me, is when you groom these guys, especially if you're gonna give them poodle feet, and I know they're schnoodles, but if you're gonna give them a poodle feet to keep them from dragging so much grass in, uh, or keeping that foot short, that little side toenail on the side of their foot, you can see where the little scab is, where the toe was, uh, and that'll come off in about a week. That gets caught in your clippers, you can slice that toe, then it bleeds like crazy. It's a groomer's nightmare when you leave that front dew claw on. Uh, oh, they're all gonna stretch now. Back dew claws I hate because they catch them when they're playing and they rip them up their leg. And so back dew claws are always taken off. I've been known to be really busy and miss somebody's dew claw, but we really try hard to make sure and double check that everybody's got dew claws off. Um, body temps on these guys. So they will stay snuggled together or with mom for the first two weeks. They cannot control their body temperature. So if they're laying on a 50 degree floor, their bodies go down to 50 degrees. They cannot process their food, uh, their body doesn't function and they die. Um, mom really lays close to them for the first two weeks. Mother nature provides her that. Um, as they nurse, it puts oxytocin in her system which makes her wanna just lay around and be nonchalant and she'll start leaving them more pushing towards that two week mark. She'll go lay on the floor, get a break, um, spend more time away from them. But when they're tiny, mom's on them all the time. Eye color on these guys. Now here's where we get in a touchy situation. I can't tell you. If it is a normal color puppy, and Dory's the one that throws the monkey wrench into this, Dory has double blue eyes. So Dory carries that gene. There is a possibility, and these puppies, if they were not out of Dory, if Dory did not have blue eyes, the chocolates would have green eyes, the blacks would have black eyes, and, um, and the, it's not really a green, it's a green or hazel. It's kind of like if you see a brown lab, it's that same color. And the chocolates will have brown noses, brown pads on their feet, and the black and white puppies and the black puppy will have black paws and black noses. Do you have a little itch right there? I saw you put, oh, there he says, I got an itch right there. Can you just scratch it? Um, so that's eye color, can't tell you. I really won't be able to tell you anything until they're probably, I would say four weeks old, we can possibly start telling you who we think. This one's patting him on the shoulder. Uh, and we will be able to tell you who is possibly gonna have blue eyes and who is not. So that I don't have a whole lot of control over. So. Uh, they are microchipped. I did that um, Saturday or Sunday. I think I did it Sunday. So they are microchipped. I always hate microchipping them. Um, microchipping is great. Uh, all the chips are registered in my name. That's another thing to plan on. Your microchip needs to be registered in your name if you have any hopes of getting this puppy back if it's lost. They will call me, whoever, if it goes through a vet's office or a shelter, but that doesn't mean they can reach me. Um, you know, I had an incident where Gary was injured and I was weeks in a hospital with him and I did not answer anything. Uh, kind of basically shut my phone off. So if I cannot be reached, they will give your dog away in that three day period. Um, so if you register your microchip when you get your puppy, I think it's a $20 fee, uh, a lifetime fee and it puts you in the National Registry. So if your puppy is scanned at a shelter or a vet's office, then um, they'll call you and they'll give you, you're gonna give someone, uh, the, you'll give the microchip company their first, your name, and then an alternate, and we're gonna flip over, all the way over, good job. Um, 
then I'm always the third contact. So that way there's three people that are able to help you get your dog back. So enough of that. Let's get into babies. I know you're probably excited and waiting to see puppies. Uh, another thing that people are gonna to wanna to know, how do you take your pick? So what's gonna to happen today? We're gonna to put their pictures on the internet. You're gonna see their video. Um, there'll be individual photos of each puppy in different positions so you can look at them top, bottom, and sideways. And the first person then will take their pick. I will call the second person and I will text you all um, and you'll have gotten my text before you see the video. I do text you the very first litter that goes on. So um, if you're watching this and you're waiting on another litter, yes, when I go to post their videos, I will give everybody uh, their first video. When I turn them on live on the internet, you will get a notice that they're on. Um, the other thing is people are going, why are they a week old and you didn't call me? Well, here's the deal. When you have a litter this big with a small dog, shush, and uh, there is always, always, always a chance that somebody's gonna get laid on, uh, they're gonna suffocate and die, and people, it's just so much of a hassle because when people do that, and then they go, I have people that go overboard about losing a puppy out of a litter, and they, that's the one I wanted, and so I don't do it anymore. Um, I put them on, um, you know, I let you know, especially on the little ones. The bigger ones, nah, sometimes we have an issue, but most of the time it's the little ones. Um, and I will let you know with the little ones at about um, between five and seven days old. So these guys are good. She's, Dory's not going to lay on anybody. And uh, so that's why you're just seeing them. Um, one other thing, you're going to ask me size. Well, all I can tell you is Hondo is six and a half to seven pounds. And Dory is around 10 to 11 pounds uh, for no, full mature adult weight now. I think it says a little bit less than that on the website, but we, she, her picture's been on there for a long time. So she's much more mature now than she used to be. She's matronly now. She's getting a little bit bigger. Um, so you're probably going to be somewhere between, I would say, 8 and 11, maybe 12 pounds. That's my guess, uh, and it is a guess. All I can tell you is I kind of go on between dad and between mom, and we hope I'm close. <laughs> so usually we're pretty close. We've done this long enough. I think this is our 32nd year of doing this, so um, we're pretty close. All right, so let's get started. This is a chocolate and white, and this one has boy plumbing. I thought it was. It was a big one. So he's got chocolate and white. He's going to have an all chocolate tail. He's got a beautiful, beautiful mask on the front of his face. And I love the stripes. He's got really even colors. Um, this is the other side of him. I'll let you see that. And he's probably pretty easy to show you ears because he's holding still. So I'll have Vanessa zoom in. So that'll let you seal, see the sealed shut ear. And you're going to say, don't pull on my ear. And every time I touch mouths, when you're, I go to pick them up, if you rub their face and they are, um, have been asleep, they'll yawn every time. Nose is turning brown. It will turn completely brown. And belly is, he says, oh, you touched my face again. Belly is all white. Gonna go back to sleep. All right, let's see if we can do the scale this way since we're different this time. And it's so cold on these scales. I hate laying them on it. 11.8, I wish we could heat it up. So microchip number 8223 is it microchip number. Yeah, you lay back down, <clears throat> excuse me. Let's go black and white. So we are a black and white. I think this is a female. No, it's a boy. This is a male. 8215 is his microchip number. He's got, he's my ticking guy. If Vanessa, Vanessa, if Vanessa can zoom in, there is the ticking. It's this little black spot under the coat. Also, if you go to Houdini's picture, or Houdini, Hondo's pictures are now on our uh, website. They're also on the gents page. And I put a bunch of Hondo so you can see them in all different directions. I have a sneaking feeling, and I can't tell from right now, but a lot of times they will develop um, ticking later on as they get bigger. 
so they won't stay solid white. They'll have this little ticking, and you can see it on Hondo's coat really good. He's got a beautiful, beautiful mask. Oh, he says, there you touch my face. He's gonna have, whatever you see pink around the nose, uh, this is gonna be white. His nose is turning black. And he's also just starting to get a couple little black pads under there. Just starting to show up. And his little belly is all white also. And he's got a couple little black spots on his, he says, you touch my mouth again. So this little black spot, his skin will always stay that color. So this little black spot may show up. I can't tell, it's got black hairs in it, I think. It's so hard to tell with their hair this fine on their face. All right, let's see what you weigh as the microchipper went off. All right, there we go. Ready, buddy? Sorry. 10.2 on the button. All right, we're gonna put you back. All right, so this one is the little squirt in the bunch. This is, he's all black with a little bit of white on his chest. And he's like almost fit in your hand. Not quite, he's just a little bit hangover. See, it's just a little bit of a hangover. He's nice and shiny. He's nice and healthy. He's a really cute little guy. I would say yes, this one will be the smallest in the litter. This one may be under, this one may stay under 10 pounds. Uh, 8222 is his microchip number. And there's no white anywhere else on him. He's just got that little tiny white party marker on his chest. Let's see what you are. He is 7.4 ounces as of today. All right, Munchkin, back you go. Oh, you're black. This is a black and white. No, I love this one. This is the three dot. This is the uh, this is a male. Also, oh, all four males. I didn't. I didn't even know I laid them that way. <laughs> Did I lay them that way on purpose? I didn't think so. Um, I like this male's marking. You'll you'll. It's intriguing. He's got. Um, oh, where's the number? 8219 is the number, and he's got a double domino dot. I use, I use squawking. Shh. Well, roll over. Change positions. Is your brother or sister smashing you? Says there, stretch out. So he's going to have an all black tail with a white tip. He's got the two domino spots. They show up really good right now. Once the hair grows all the way out and he gets fuzzy, these are going to blend together. But if you ever shave him down, they'll have two domino dots. Um, I don't see any ticking on him right now, but I, I just can't imagine that they won't have ticking. Really pretty little face. He's going to have white hair all the way around the muzzle and under his chin too. And he's got black, he's got black dots on his skin, which is ticking spots, but it looks like white hairs on top of him. So time will tell, but, and there's the other side of it. He's already got nice waves coming in his coat. Usually they don't get waves quite this early, but he's already got waves, so he'll have a, a nice curly coat. 9.6 ounces. All right, bud. All right, so this is the girls. She says, don't pick me up. This one is a chocolate and white party. Ah, oh, she says this is so bothersome. Okay, we are at 82.21, and she's got, uh, chocolate tail. She's got a chocolate dot on her back. She's got a really, really pretty face. I know I touched your mouth. I know you got a yawn. Brown nose. Ears are closed. Eyes are closed. And she's got everybody in here except the little male has an all white belly. Are you see me? Are you on the happy ish? She says, oh, I know it's right there somewhere. It's funny at this age, they still itch. I know I'm going to lay on here. I'm so sorry. 10.6. I did chip you, didn't I? Yep, 82.21. All right, down you go, Munchkin. Last but not least is the black and white female. She's got a beautiful, beautiful face. And she's got a black belt all the way around her. She's got a black tail. And I don't see any ticking on her. She says, I'm going to yawn. I'm gonna yawn. All white belly, lots of little black tickings around that muzzle. And nothing on that side as far as I can see ticking. She said, just roll me around, I really don't care. All right, I know I didn't chip you. She's really out, she's like gone sleeping. 
8225. This one says, where is mom? She's looking for something to eat. This is the longest they've been away from mom, 11.6. All right, so that gives you the scoop. Oh, he says, I'm gonna do it again. It's a full roll. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna do a full roll. Um, this one's bound, there's a nipple on this table somewhere. So we're gonna get him back to mom. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed these. Uh, they're a super sweet bunch of babies and they're doing super good, which is always a plus. So if you have any questions, please feel free to give me a call or shoot me a text. Please do not email me. Um, because as busy as we are getting with summer almost here in full force, we are not, I'm not on the internet hardly very much at all. Um, I try, but I just can't. I can't keep up with the internet. Phone is always with me. It's easy to answer a phone call and keep working. So please feel free to call me or text me. And otherwise, um, I guess that's it for today. And we'll have a new video on next week. And you'll see all this come on the video or on the internet today. And I hope you enjoy it. Talk to you later. Have a great week.